Well, I mean, it's either applaud or get out. Which will it be? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll! It's obvious you're not gonna buy any more drinks, so, you know, we're really quite finished with you. So you either extend yourself or no more entertainment. Come on. Applaud them and bring on DOA for a couple more things here. We'll elect this program with another special bulletin. Age limit or not, you look like you're just the ripe age to be drafted. Hooray, they say. Does that bother you? There was a sign at Jonestown behind Jim Jones's dead body, and it said, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Which would you rather sacrifice, your hot car or your life? Die for oil, sucker. Born on the firecracker 4th of July, raised on football and MTV, never felt what it's like to have to fight to stay free. Vietnam, just a time life book memory. The mask is off again, this time nobody cares. But you can't keep dancing when your legs are blown away. Die for oil, sucker, sucker, sucker. You too can get your face shot off so arms race tycoons won't have to get a real job. The Cold War's over, it was all a mirage. We could use that money, we got problems to solve. But we're not allowed a chance at the peace dividend because our psycho president's got his head in the sand. <laughs> Saddam Hussein, so egocentric, he even replaced Mickey Mouse on watches with his own face. Last spring he was our tyrant we thought we could use. We sold him all his guns and his nerve gas, too. Right now, it's the world's first tabloid war. There they are on CNN, throwing mud back and forth. If all wars were treated like game shows, great. The world would be a much happier place. But it won't last long with these egos involved. One shot at Saddam, he's gonna fire on Israel. And in no time, Hiroshima will look like a picnic, especially when our Secretary of State's a born-again Christian. And we'll all die for oil, sucker, sucker, sucker. You too can get your spinal cord snapped to save greedy kings from the greed of Iraq. Give your life for a country where women can't vote and people still get their hands and heads chopped off. In Saudi Arabia, they'll stone you to death for sleeping with another person's husband or wife. Women can't go out alone or show their face or even drive. And there's never elections. You can't even ask why. But they finally did outlaw slavery in 1962, so progress is being made. And they're sitting on something we can afford to live without. But certain fat cats bank accounts cannot. Oil. For this, you get to be all you can be. A dead army, navy, air force, marines. Wind up one of those deranged, unemployed vets. The kind they used to make TV cop shows about. Just like Tom Cruise in a wheelchair. No film royalties, cause nobody cares about you once you've been used to die for oil, sucker. It'll kill the poor even faster than crack. Send them off to war, make sure they don't come back. Give them tanks that fall apart, helicopters that crash. 2,000 died in Panama because the stealth can't shoot straight. $800 million Batman played, and it doesn't even work. No surprise when their idea of national security, the screwdrivers costing 1,800 bucks. 
A little sand in the engine can stop a naval destroyer. Saddam Hussein knows this, but our networks don't report it. Die for oil, sucker. 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 And is it really worth it in this day and age to be the winners of World War III? Think about it. Once we take over that place, we'll never, ever be able to leave. Bush talks about bombing the path to Baghdad, 75 miles wide. And if the big bad wolf still won't give up, we're gonna drop the nuclear bomb. And after that, we'll just walk right in to colonize their hearts and minds. But the Arab people will be so damn mad, we'll be lucky to get out of there alive. After that, do you think any Arab country will sell us oil? Think of the cost to keep our army there. When the only way left to force it out of the ground is our soldiers' guns treating Arabs like slaves. Or was that all part of the plan? How long do you think that could possibly last? We found a scam to replace the Cold War. It's called Die for Oil, sucker. What's so sick about this is there's a better way. Stop selling guns to Arabs and to Israel. Don't need to keep ourselves hostage for oil. Use our Star Wars know-how to build solar-powered cars. One clerk in the patent office might be all it would take to find blueprints for a solar car General Motors shelved away. But oh no, that's too simple, and there's money to be made, especially if you already have more than you'll ever need. For those of us who can't buy our way out like rich folks like Dan Quayle do, it's burn your draft card, burn the flag, and burn the Pentagon too! for oil. Don't be a sucker. Excuse me, part of my grief. Your victim time to leave. Don't back with the family since you 30 years. We're triple in the rent. Time's up the sheriff's here. Back to you with the freeze out on the street. We're finding Coke Palace. That says we'll symbolize Your neighborhood is sore and slowly die You gentrified Oh yeah, that's progress That's the progress makes you feel good and fine There's that you run red light You look to know it owes You don't fix your career at age 15 you know, what's told as ease But trapped on things you eat Every cold sleep in when you're sick and what you eat For every spy in government That's just a private eye Now that's not a human eat by file You sell a file Oh yeah, the progress Now the progress makes the fears that are inside The progress, the progress Now that's all that you feel so good inside Thank you. 